are ready to take this country in a fundamentally new direction. Hi, I'm Elaine Fest. I'm Michelle Smith. And I'm Lisette Restrepo. And we are here in Fort Lauderdale at the Bank Atlantic Center for an absolutely fabulous event. Yes, it's Senator Barack Obama. He's having a rally here for the South Florida population. But we're going to see what the people really think. Well, there's a lot of people here today, but Atlantic Center is absolutely full. The parking lot, a lot is of full. energy. Yes, the nice. support for the Senator Obama is amazing here tonight, and I'm really interested in what the people have to say about the for Senator Obama. Yeah, me too. So stay tuned and watch, and you'll hear what they have to say. Hello everyone, we're here at Senator Obama's rally in Florida. Now, we've been all around following all types of events for the politicians this year, but this has got to be the most inspiring rally I've seen. And everyone is so happy, so much support in Florida for Senator Obama. You could see it in his eyes, you could hear it in his voice. He's bringing hope back to the United States. That is a moment. Senator Obama is going to be our next president of the United States of America. Whether we are rich or poor, black or white, Latino or Asian, we are ready to take this country in a fundamentally new direction. Whether we hail from Iowa or New Hampshire, Nevada or South Carolina, are ready to take this country in a fundamentally new direction. Everywhere I'm going, what I get a sense of is people want uh, to see a different kind of politics and a different kind of government. This is one of those rare moments where we can change history. We hold the truth to be self-evident that all men are created equal. That they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights. That among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That is the true genius of America. Even as we speak, there are those who are preparing to divide us. 
the spin masters, the mega bad peddlers, to embrace the politics of anything goes. Well, I say to them tonight, there is not a liberal America and a conservative America. There is the United States of America. There is not a black America and a white America and Latino America and Asian America. There is the United States of America. The pundits, the pundits like to slice and dice our country into red states and blue states. Red states for Republicans, blue states for Democrats. But I've got news for them too. We worship an awful God in the blue states. And we don't like federal agents walking around in our libraries in the red states. Welcome back, it's GNO, I'm Michelle Smith, and I have with me here Krishana, who's a very, very avid Barack Obama supporter. She got her shirt on, her Rolling Stone magazine, a great cover, and her button, not to mention. Now, Krishana, why are you voting for Barack? It's time for a change. We need Bush out of here. I'm ready for a change. He brings excitement to politics. He brings all type of people together. Nobody else, I've never seen anything like it. Now, we will is a big slogan. What does that mean to you? I'm sorry? We will has been a big slogan for the campaign. What does that mean to you? We will win. We will take over. Democrats will win in November. And we will come together, be unified as a party. All right, well, you heard it here. Florida's ready for a change. Buenas noches. Una de las cosas que el senador Barack Obama ha logrado es involucrar a la juventud más con la política. Hoy me encuentro con una joven peruana, Juret, y le quiero hacer algunas preguntas sobre Rally. Cuéntame, ¿qué te pareció ver a Obama hablando en persona? Bueno, fue una experiencia de verdad increíble. Yo lo estuve esperando allí, justo muy cerquita de él, de pie. Me temblaba todo el cuerpo cuando lo vi. He tomado un montón, un montón de fotos. De verdad, como que un sueño mío era verlo a él en persona. ¿Te pareció que fue un poco, te inspiró Obama, te dio un poco de esperanza o cómo, cómo recibiste su discurso? Bueno, de verdad me inspiró bastante escuchar a él cómo hablaba. Obviamente daba, me dio bastante esperanza acerca de lo que debería ser el futuro de Estados Unidos. Este, me encantó, la verdad me encantan sus palabras, me encanta cómo hablas todo, a todos los temas. Y digamos que el senador Barack Obama sea elegido como el presidente de los Estados Unidos. ¿Qué te gustaría ver que él comenzara trabajando, o sea, ¿qué es lo primero que tú quisieras que él hiciera? Me gustaría que empezara a tratar con la educación, me parece que eso es el, algo bastante importante porque somos como que nosotros los jóvenes somos el futuro del país y es, es algo que vale la pena invertir y me parece que es lo más importante. Claro que sí, y ahora si pudieras describir Barack Obama en tres palabras, ¿cuáles tres palabras serían? Es un hombre muy honesto, muy sencillo me parece, y es una persona muy inteligente. Bueno, ya están viendo cómo la juventud están tan involucradas con la política. El senador Barack Obama definitivamente está logrando una de sus metas, que es todo el mundo trabajar en equipo. Hi, I'm Nick Lars for Gross Night Out and Nick Lars Productions. We make the television show you're watching right now, Gross Night Out. For those of you who are into getting onto television, you want to do an infomercial, you want to do a 30 second commercial, please give me a call. My phone number is 954. 798-4661-954-798-4661. That's for Nick Lawrence. Also, if you're watching the show, Girls Night Out, you know that we have a lot of female hosts on the show. If you are also female and you would like to become a host for Girls Night Out, the number again is 954-798-4661. It's 954-798-4661. Also, we have a MySpace page. You can look us up and see how we're doing on MySpace. Also, check us out on our brand new website, MiamiTVMix.com. That's MiamiTVMix.com. Yes, we can. It was whispered by slaves and abolitionists as they blazed the trail toward the freedom. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. It was sung. It was sung by immigrants. I think it's right now. It's a bit short. My immigrants. So we're going to go to the first time. Can you see what's behind me? It's a story that is American. There's never been anything that's false. And I want to. 